Tonight we're joined by Kelsey Alford Jones. She is the executive director of the Guatemala Human Rights uh, Commission. Uh, Kelsey, thanks for joining us today. It's been a busy day there in Guatemala and Guatemalan politics. Uh, run through it, if you will. Uh, what were some of the biggest uh, things that happened today? Um, well, thank you so much. Um, well, as you mentioned, I mean, it's huge to see the former vice president and the sitting president, Otto Perez Molina, um, being named publicly by the Guatemalan public prosecutor and the UN-backed International Commission Against Impunity in Guatemala for their connection to this massive uh, corruption scandal that involves the theft of what many believe to be hundreds of millions of dollars uh, from the Guatemalan government. Um, and today, in the announcement uh, from the investigators, they've named President Pérez Molina and former Vice President Valdesi as possibly the two uh, leaders of this entire network. And so I guess the question here now is, what about President uh, Pérez Molina? Is there any chance his immunity will be withdrawn, or will, will he continue to sort of be above the law there? It's hard to tell. The uh, initial attempt to uh, strip him of immunity um, on allegations filed by a congressperson in Guatemala did fail. But now the second attempt um, will move forward. We'll see whether the congressional probe will be formed. Um, and this time he's being uh, accused of criminal conspiracy and bribery as part of this corruption network. So I think many in Guatemala, if not everyone in Guatemala, will be watching very closely to see um, if this probe moves forward. And ideally, no one is above the law, and the president uh, should also face justice if he has, is actually responsible for, for this level of fraud and corruption. And you say everybody's watching closely there. What What is the public opinion as this all pans out? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. Guatemala is in a historic moment in which Guatemalans across the political spectrum, across race and class boundaries, have joined together in this unprecedented denouncement of government corruption. And this series of investigations by the International Commission Against Impunity, or the CC, over the last few months have shown really the, the depth and breadth of corruption in Guatemala. It's not just the president and vice president that are possibly involved, but dozens of Guatemalan public officials, uh, many of whom are already facing charges or have been arrested, others who have simply resigned but may face future in, uh, investigations. Uh, and Guatemalans are fed up. Um, this is a country in which um, there are a huge percentage of Guatemalans who are living on less than a dollar a day. Um, tax taxes are minimal. Um, and people are tired of the corruption. So I think the general public opinion has been calling for an end to corruption, prosecution of those responsible. Uh, the resignation of President Pérez Molina has been a unanimous call since uh, April when these scandals began to emerge. Uh, and so I think really people, people would like to see him face trial. All right, Kelsey Alford Jones, she's the executive director of the Guatemalan Human, uh, Human Rights Commission. Uh, Kelsey, thanks so much for joining us uh, this evening. Thank you so much.